An incredible show of support for an officer killed in the line of duty. Today, hundreds paid their respects as Officer Tamaris Bohannon was laid to rest. The St. Louis City Police Officer was killed late last month while responding to a call for a shooting. News 4's Emma Hogue was outside of the Cathedral Basilica today for the funeral and reports from the Central West End. It was an incredibly emotional day for the entire St. Louis community. What touched me the most was how many people were out here lining Lindell Boulevard who didn't know Officer Bohannon personally, but just wanted to come out and show their support. A really beautiful tribute to an officer who gave the ultimate sacrifice. A risk of not coming back home, seeing their family, their loved ones. A risk Officer Tamaris Bohannon took each day he left for work. Herbert Houston says Bohannon was his cousin. He's not surprised the 29 year old so selflessly gave his life protecting our city. He wanted to be a police officer and become some, you know, help people. And I always knew he was going to be a good guy because I always seen it in him. Today, Houston was one of hundreds lining Lindell Boulevard outside of the Cathedral Basilica ahead of Officer Bohannon's funeral. Even as a kid, he says his cousin exemplified what it means to be a true servant. I always wanted to help. You always seem to be helping somebody when no questions asked. Along with law enforcement, people young and old stood outside paying their respects and showing support. I think it's heartbreaking that um, someone loses their job trying to keep us all safe. Shelby Schroeder's daughter, Margaret, sat front and center the four-year-old's dad is also a St. Louis City police officer. I want my daughter to see how we support our community. The sound of bagpipes echoed throughout the Central West End as Officer Bohannon's remains were carried into the church. A heart-wrenching moment for the 29-year-old's wife and three children. They put on that badge and a uniform and do it every day. Tonight, hundreds in the St. Louis community showing their appreciation and gratitude for a man now known as a hero. I just want everybody to know my little cousin was a hero. He was a wonderful guy. We do know Backstoppers is assisting the Bohannon family with expenses. Another charity organization based in New York announced late last week they paid the family's mortgage in full hoping to ease their burden just a little bit during this extremely difficult time. Reporting in the Central West End tonight, Emma Hogue, News 4. And from the air today, you could see many people line the streets of St. Louis to honor Officer Bohannon in a hero's procession before the funeral. At Serenity Memorial Funeral Home on Union Boulevard, the officers got ready to escort one of their own, the color guard at attention, a show of support and a sign of respect. First, a salute before Officer Bohannon's remains were carried outside and placed inside the hearse. White birds taking flight across the sky above, a release of doves, 29 of them, one for each year of his life. Then the motorcade began its procession, motorcycle officers keeping steady pace, cars pulling over to honor him, and people lining the streets, both in small groups and even alone, waving the stars and stripes, a hand on his heart. Through the streets of St. Louis, strangers who didn't know Officer Bohannon showing support for his sacrifice and for all of law enforcement. White squad cars lined the streets as the procession passed by South Patrol on Sublet, his own co-workers gathering to salute. And finally, the throngs of people growing thicker as the procession neared the Cathedral Basilica for the funeral. Officers in formation, the distinct brown uniforms of St. Louis County Police, but many more in their blue uniforms and navy dress blues, saying goodbye to a fallen hero. That procession so deeply moving, lasting for quite a long time today, with many people saying they just wanted to show Officer Bohannon's family they appreciate and honor him. The man accused of killing Officer Bohannon is expected back in court this week. Thomas Kinworthy is charged with first-degree murder and seven other felony counts. He was arrested one week ago after a standoff with police near Tower Grove Park. Kinworthy is being held without bond but has a detention hearing on Wednesday. You can count on Newsport to follow this case as it moves through the court system.